Alarm fire does damage to a popular oyster bar in Annapolis. The Sailor Oyster Bar caught fire Wednesday night. They don't expect arson and are narrowing down the cause. WMER 2 News is Don Harrison. Talk with the owner to see what the future looks like. More fortunate than some, so we're grateful for that. And uh, Scott Herbst, the owner of the Sailor Oyster Bar, lamenting over the challenge of COVID and getting back to normal. There was nothing normal about Wednesday night. It started in the back in between the two buildings and then it's kind of moved its way forward and went upstairs. It took an hour for fire to destroy all the work the Oyster Sailor Bar gained since it opened in 2016. Around 8 Wednesday night, customers scrambled outside and fire units scrambled to the fire. It took 55 minutes to bring the fire under control to this restaurant on West Street. Nobody was hurt, but a lot of the business was destroyed. Just stuff, even though um, we put a lot of heart and time into this stuff, it's, it's stuff. With a city environment like this, buildings are usually close together and there's a worry for fire to spread. That certainly was a concern last night. Yes, that is a huge concern and that played a major role and factor into why the, the lieutenant decided to go to a second alarm right away. Um, it's always a concern with the uh, proximity of the, roof, of the roof line of the buildings. There was some smoke and water damage to the adjacent buildings. Herbst feels obligated to the community and the 26 workers he has here at the Sailor Oyster Bar. He didn't wear his don't give up the ship hat by accident. But it seemed pretty fitting today. As they continue the cleanup and the monumental task to restore this popular eatery, Herbst has this message for his staff and patrons. We're very fortunate to be part of the uh, neighborhood. Um, we've got great support and uh, uh, we'll, we'll, um, we'll be back. Herbst thinks it will take at least six months to reopen. In Annapolis, Don Harrison, WMAR 2 News.